poverty. Seas of poverty. Let me stay right there. Seas of poverty. Seas of poverty. We mess ourselves up. We can't get blessed. We make the wrong moves. We won't listen at nobody. It locks us in to seas of poverty. Seas of divorce. Seas of lesbianism. Seas of homosexuality. Seas of rage. Seas of having a quick temper. Seas of anger. Seas of pain. Seas of suicide. Seas of drunkenness. Seas of pornography. Seas of unforgiveness. Seas of murder. Seas of control. Seas of envy. Seas of covetousness. Seas of hatred. Seas of malice. Seas of rape. He's trying to tear your life up. But I heard the Bible said that the enemy has done this. He's trying to plant a seed to mess your blessing up. But lift your hand and say, Lord, give me strength to do the right thing. Say yes. Say yes. I ain't get too many amens. I ain't getting too many amens. I ain't getting too many amens. Some of us have been in the church a long time. And guess what? Satan threw some seeds into a good thing. Do I have a witness? It's amazing how something good can be growing and something bad growing in the same ground. Y'all didn't catch that. There's some good the worst of us. There's some bad. Help me, church. In the best of us. Two types of seed. Then, when it's all over with, we have to constantly hold and break up the ground. Because something is trying to grow. I wish y'all would catch this. And then finally, it hurts. But it's a setup from the devil. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? I had a brother in my church, and I, I talked with him because he had been missing the church for quite a while. I don't care why or your reason, what your reason is for staying out of church. It don't help you. It don't help you. We all have been. But when you get out from under this, you don't have nothing to bring you back. You don't have nothing to hold so I called that brother and I told him no. I said to him no matter what goes on you stay in the church and I told him I had been calling him several times sending messages messages to his mom to tell him to call me he watched it for me get out of order, they run from the future. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? They take off, they dodge. Guess what? I, I was 
nice two times. But the third time, I had to get beat. And I had to whoop him. Whoop him hard. I said, look at your brother. He's locked up. Look at your sister. Some of us are victims of circumstances. But how many know if the Lord loves you, he chases you. And he scourges every son. So I told him, I'm not going to keep running after you. I told him, he's a good man. He's a man. Don't forget it. You making this bed, you got to make it. And guess what? That brother was at church today. He was sitting right in church, and when I saw him, I spotted him. I said, hey, brother. You ought to be glad when folk come back. Is that right? You ought to be glad when something wake you up and get you going right in the path that you're supposed to go. I said, hey, brother, how you doing? He said, I'm fine. He just blew out and get him again. But I pulled one on him. I'll tell you what I did. I said, brother, come in. Come in. He got scared. He he's going up there. He he's going up there. around it and I said I just want to hug you how many of you know this is healing how many of you know this is encouragement when you put your arms around somebody that's struggling when you put your arms around somebody that's trying to press their way back how many of you know that helps you it encourages you it motivates you it, it lets you know that the pastor is not the type of person that is so so in a dictative spirit where he can beat you all the time but the same pastor that is your pastor can come down and be your big brother and give you a good god bless you hug and let you know i still love you go ahead brother and thank you for being obedient and you know what he did he left there smiling. Went back to his seat smiling. Now what was I doing? I saw some seeds. I saw seeds. Look like that kind love wouldn't get it out. Tough love got it. But how many of you know even though you spank a child, you got to know how to heal that child. Is that right, mothers? Is that right, mothers? And today the devil is trying his best to plant some seeds. Stand on your feet if you will. There are those of you that got seeds. Oh, some good seeds. Good seeds. I see good seeds. I see good seeds. Seeds of faith. Seeds that I'm more than a conqueror. Seeds that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Seeds. I see good seeds. 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 I'm God's property. Seeds of encouragement. God is my healer. Seeds that say God is my husband to the single mothers. I see good seeds. And even in the midst of all of that, you'd be surprised what the devil is doing. He's throwing out seeds. He's throwing them out. And sometimes we fall into a state of depression. Those of you today that have 
some scenes, things that you deal with. It started small, but it has magnified into something big. Close your eyes. Will you pray with me? Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You know my heart. I'm naked before you. Come on, pray with me. You know what I'm going through. You know the trouble. You know the trauma that I've been through. Oh God, give us strength. Strengthen now in the name.